about a quarter of the population will experience some kind of mental health problem in the course of a year. There are many organisations around to help people suffering from mental health. One of these are Penumbra. Penumbra is an organisation that's been around for 30 years. We're 30 years old this year and we have um, supported people with mental health problems across Scotland for all of that time through a number of different services from individual one-to-one -one support in somebody's house. We provide supported accommodation services where people come into our houses and we also do things as small as text messages for young people and just to make sure that they're doing okay if they're moving about or whatever and just to check in. The ways in which modern cultures both understand and deal with mental illness has undergone a radical transformation. It's a, a huge fundamental difference. Um, it used to be a kind of out of sight, out of mind to large estates in the country where people would be sent off to. I used to work in an acute ward in the hospital and when I think back to how people were treated at that point and how people are treated now, it is vastly different. There's a much greater focus on having people in the community and living life as much as possible in spite of their conditions rather than being dictated to by their conditions. That might mean voluntary work, it might mean paid employment, it might mean no employment, but that's just by and by as to their functioning within the community. There's very much a bigger focus on recovery where people before were told that if you had a mental health problem that was it for life, you shouldn't expect to work anymore, don't have any children, all that kind of stuff. Now we focus very much on somebody having the best quality of life that they possibly can in spite of the symptoms that they have to suffer and our job as an organisation is to help people to identify outcomes and to work towards those outcomes. Penumbra have created an outcome measurement tool called IROC. IROC is a fully validated um, recovery outcomes measurement tool which was developed by Penumbra over a number of years. It's a tracking tool which can show somebody's journey better than screens of paperwork and questionnaires. It works on a framework which we call HOPE which is a huge thing in terms of somebody's mental health recovery and for us HOPE means working with people around their home, opportunities in their life, the people in their life and empowerment in terms of people taking much more choice and control. We review it on a monthly basis. Um, it is, it's a spidergram and people grade themselves from one to six. You can hold up to different IROC spidergrams and see quite clearly where differences have been made to where deficits are rather than having to troll through answers to questions and general noise and data coming in. So it's really, really good for tracking progress rather than pinpoint assessments in my eyes. So it's a kind of self-assessment tool and then the spidergram comes up and it shows where, where the scores are low, that's the areas of work that we will support people on for the next three months and where the spikes are high it lets them see how much they have moved on in their journey of recovery. Um, and it's been extremely successful in lots of different ways, one of them being that people we support actually take much more control of how they want their support to be rather than people telling them that's what they'll get. Um, and most people that use it really, really love it as a way of working. It feels as if it belongs to them rather than being done to, it's being done with. And that helps somebody to recover from mental ill health. The stigma around mental health is still quite strong. Um, you still hear people using language um, in television programmes or through social media, all sorts of stuff like that, which really is quite derogatory about somebody with a mental health problem, despite the fact that we know that one in four people will have a mental health problem at some point in their life. I think it's probably less so in younger people um, in, in schools and stuff, but it's still a definitely a prejudice existing in people who grew up with it in the kind of classic 70s and 80s when mental health was a fair game for various stand-up comics and kind of media, but it still exists definitely in, in, in society. There's an organisation called See Me, which is funded by the Scottish Government, which was created a number of years ago to specifically work around stopping the st stigma of mental ill health, and that's still running today, so that's not really a good sign, and that's no reflection on the work they've done, they've done some very, very powerful stuff. But because we still need it, the stigma is obviously still there. So what should you do if you feel as though you need help with a mental health issue? Trust the people that are around you. Talking about things helps you to find a way for you to get through a time when you're feeling down. It's never easy. It's never easy to put your hand up and say that I need help. And we would never um, force somebody to do that, but we certainly would encourage somebody to talk about it and to seek the support and help that they need. Tell someone. That's it. That. Tell someone. Um, openness um, with either family, a GP, a friend, a confidant, um, eat the budgie, the dog, it doesn't matter. Get out um, and open. Um, and if you practice telling the dog 
100 times, maybe the one time you tell somebody who can actually do something about it, you'll get the help. <laughs>